the return of the Jabberwock. A long time ago, before you were born, lived a beast with eyes of flame and horns. Your great-grandfather defeated the Jabberwock beast and returned home to a magnificent victory feast. I'm going to find my own Jabberwock, the little boy said, and as he marched past his dad towards the garden shed. I'll need a sword and a helmet for my big adventure. Then into Tulji Woods, I'll venture. The boy bravely marched through Tulji Wood to find a Jabberwock. Oh, how he wished he could. He tried to remember the words his father said when he saw something move in the trees ahead. It had long spidery legs and horns askew, hiding in the shadows just out of view. It got closer and closer. It was covered in hair. What was this strange creature out from its lair? The moon then peeped out from behind the clouds and a possum was revealed to the boy and bowed. Can you tell me where the Jabberwock monster lives? asked the boy who was wearing a helmet sieve. Beware the Jabberwock with the jaws that bite and claws that catch. Beware the Jubjub bird and the ferocious bandersnatch. The ba brave boy continued on his adventure and deep into Tulji Wood he ventured. Soon the boy was lost and filled with dread when a scary shadow appeared overhead. It had an ugly beak and a toothless smile and it perched in a nest by an old sundial. The boy started to tremble. The adventure felt real. Where'd he end up as the creature's next meal? The boy reached into his bag and pulled out a torch and shone the beam at the shadow, making it squawk. <coughs> a toucan was all that the torch did reveal. Not a hideous monster eating snippets of veal. Why can't I find a jabberwock to behead? said the boy as he heard a strange noise up ahead. Then a turtle-like creature appeared in the dark and it had ears of a hog and the mouth of a shark. Just as the boy reached the monstrous creature, lightning lit up the sky, illuminating its feature. No monster could be seen, just a pig in its place, another dead end on the Jabberwock chase. The pig turned and grunted, then suddenly fled as a terrifying sight appeared up ahead. The silence was broken by a scream that was shrill, and the sight of two shadows made the boy feel quite ill. Could it be the legendary Jub Jub bird? Perhaps it had made the strange sound he heard. Or perhaps it was the ferocious bandersnatch. His legs turned to jelly. Had the boy met his match? The boy held up his sword, not knowing what to do, when the lights from the car illuminated the view. In place of the Jub Jub bird and the bandersnatch stood a fox and a heron, stopped dead in their tracks. The boy was getting tired. He was ready for bed and he was starting to doubt what his father had said. He asked the fox and the heron if they happened to know where the Jabberwock lived and which direction to go. The Jabberwock lives close by, the fox said, and he winked to the heron and pointed to his head. The boy rested for a while by a tum-tum tree and recited the poem of the Jabberwocky. Then out came a creature with eyes of flame, whiffling and burbling from the place whence it came. The boy took one look and as fast as he could, ran right back through all of Tulji Wood. <laughs>